Yacht A, my relatives. Hello, this is Mark Charles. It is Saturday, April 30th already, if you can believe that. We are almost through the month of April and going into the month of May. And I wanted to give one final update before the month ended to let you know what's going to happen here on Patreon in the month of May and what my schedule is going to look like both on Patreon as well as my public speaking schedule. So I just want to run through some of these events. We'll start by going through some of the tiers that have uh, special content in each of them. And so the first tier I want to talk about is the Ask Questions tier. Now, this is the tier that gives uh, patrons the uh, ability to join a Q&A with myself, as well as another Q&A with myself and a, one of my guests from my second cup of coffee, which I stream on my YouTube and Facebook pages. And so this month, I'm very excited about the guests that we have in store. Um, if you've read chapter 11 of my book, Unsettling Truths, then you have heard me talk about and reference the work of Rachel McNair. And Rachel wrote a book called um, Perpetration-Induced Traumatic Stress, The Psychological Consequences of Killing. And that is uh, the, the, it's her research and her, her work there that I use to propose the idea of what I observe and call the trauma of white America. And so um, I, that, that chapter in On Selling Truth, chapter 11, um, always gets a lot of, uh, energy around it. The people are very intrigued by the idea of what I present as the trauma of white America. They are very intrigued by Rachel McNair's diagnosis of a perpetration-induced traumatic stress, otherwise known as PITS. And I'm thrilled that she has agreed to uh, join me for a second cup of coffee and then to also come onto my Patreon and do a Q&A with me after that. So I don't have the exact date for that yet, but most likely it will be the third or the fourth week of May. And so we'll update you as we get closer to that date. Then for the Join the Conversation tier, uh, this is the tier that gives uh, people an access to uh, join me on a live stream for a lecture um, each month. And last month, the lecture I did was on the myth of American exceptionalism. And if you're a member of this tier or above and you have not watched that lecture yet, I highly recommend you go back and check it out. Um, I posted it just the other day, and so I welcome you to watch that. But my lecture for the month of May is going to be reflections on my 2020 presidential campaign for all the people. So uh, most of you know that I ran in 2020 as an independent candidate for the Office of President of the United States, and the theme of my campaign was to build a nation where we the people actually means all the people. And I get frequently a lot of questions about that campaign. What did I learn? What was the experience like? What's my analysis of the political system? And I bring that insight into a lot of my lectures and presentations and things I do on social media and here online. And so I thought I would take some very specific time here on Patreon in the Ask the or Join the Conversation tier to talk for about 30 to 45 minutes about the experience of running for president, what worked well, what was a challenge, what would I do different if I did it again, and what did I learn coming out of that experience. And so uh, if you're a member of the Join the Conversation tier, I'm excited to announce that we'll be doing this uh, later in May, and you will have access, you will have the opportunity to join me on a live stream as I record that, or also to watch the archived video um, later when we start here on Patreon. So that's coming up the third or fourth week of May. For um, the, the fourth tier, which is the Unsettling Truths tier, this is the tier that gives people access to the virtual book study with myself and Sung Chan Ra. And this month, uh, in May, we're looking at Chapter 4, The Rise and Defense of Christendom. So Chapter 4 is the chapter where we begin to look at the writings of Eusebius and also look at some of the writings of, um, of uh, Augustine. And I get a lot of comments from people about this chapter and about kind of what went into that. And Sung Chan and I had both a lot of fun, but a lot of challenges as we wrote this chapter. And so I'm really looking forward to the study this month. Uh, if you are part of the Unselling Truths tier, you will um, be able to join that, uh, that study on a live stream. And you'll also be able to watch it as we archive those studies here 
on Patreon for members of the Unsettling Truths tier. We are making a slight adjustment to the Unsettling Truths tier uh, this month, and we're doing something in the Unsettling Truths tier that's similar that we do already in the uh, the Join the Conversation tier, which is I just added a note in there that um, being a part of this tier will give you access to join the live stream live and to watch it first as it's archived here on Patreon. But we may use some of that video or that video content at a later date um, for my public social media. And um, I added that note because I'm really enjoying doing these studies. They're going really well. I love the questions we get during the studies. And it's a fantastic experience to film these things with Sun John. And I want to get this material out um, even beyond just what we're doing here on Patreon. And so this basically says that we'll... If you join this tier, you can watch, join the live streams and you can watch it archived on Patreon here first. Um, but at a later date, in a month or so later, we may use some of that video content um, for public social media so that we can continue to engage people with this book and hopefully get it even more widely read than it has been already. Um, and so I'll email something out about that as well uh, later this afternoon. And then I want to go through my public schedule. So my public schedule for the month of May, uh, beginning tomorrow, I'm going to be interviewed uh, by Abolition Today. Uh, this is a group that is fighting for the abolition of slavery. They interviewed me during my campaign, and they reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked if I could be a guest on their show this week. And so tomorrow, Sunday, May 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern, I will be interviewed on Abolition Today, and I believe they will live stream that interview. Once I know the URL, where they're going to live stream it from, it could be at this URL I have listed here, but I'm not positive. But once I know that for sure, I will try to let people know, especially on my social media. And then I'm starting my book tour this month. And so because our book came out while I was running for president, and then we went almost immediately into COVID and a lockdown for two years, we really never got to have a book tour. And so I'm going to start a book tour. And I'm just doing this on my own. No one is funding it. My publisher isn't paying for it. Um, but I just want to get out there and really engage people with uh, Unsettling Truths. And so the first stop of our book tour is going to be this coming Tuesday, May 3rd, in New York City. I'm hosted by Hope Health Kitchen, which is a church I preached at, I think, twice uh, so far. And they have a ministry center, a shared ministry center, it's called the Hub New York City. It's 109 East 31st Street in New York City. And at 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, um, May 3rd, I will be giving about an, a 45-minute to an hour-long presentation on, on Settling Truths. And then we'll have some books available there to, for people to purchase. And if people have their books already, they can bring them in, and I'm happy to sign them. I will also do some Q&A and allow people to ask some questions about the writing process or about the book. And so this is hopefully the first of what I hope to be dozens of events over the next few months um, as I work very hard to try and get more word out and more awareness about the book I wrote with my good friend, Sung Chan Ra, on Selling Truths. Um, and so then I also want to announce that uh, I'm headed up to Portland uh, in the middle of May, and I'm going to be in Portland for a few days, I think May 14th through 17th. And on Monday, May 16th in Portland, Oregon, I'm doing the second stop of our Unselling, book, uh, Unselling Truths book tour. And I will be at a place called the Honey Latte Cafe at 1033 Southeast Main Street in Portland. Um, their web address is honeylatte.cafe. And uh, actually, someone here on Patreon is helping me set up this event, uh, one, one, of, one of our partners here. And so I'm very excited to be doing this. Uh, I'm thrilled about a chance to uh, bring some books with me to Portland and to do this event. We'll do something very similar like we did in New York City, which is I'll speak for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then uh, we'll do some Q&A. And then uh, we'll have books available for people to sign to buy. And of course, I'll sign books both that are being purchased as well as the people already have a copy of the book and they bring it in. I'm happy to sign a book they already have. And so that will be happening on May 16th, which is a Monday at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Also, that trip in Portland, I'm going to be preaching the the day prior to that, on Sunday, May, May 15th, I'll be preaching at Great Spirit United Methodist Church in Portland, Oregon. 
A good friend of mine, Alan Buck, is the pastor of the church, Great Spirit. And uh, I'm very excited when he invited me to preach at the church that Sunday. I um, believe I will be talking about um, what does it mean to be reconciled to Creator. And so uh, we'll be looking at stuff from Acts 10, but also about just kind of the trajectory of the scriptures and what does it mean that the blood of Christ reconciles us back to Creator. Uh, United Methodist Church live streams their services, and so I put in the URL here, and I'll share this in the video notes as well. If you're not in Portland but you want to join that service, you can join it at 11 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday, May 15th. Then coming up, uh, this is actually in early June, and I'm very excited about this event. Uh, this has been in my books for a few months now, and I'm really looking forward to it. There is a Museum of Indigenous Peoples located in Prescott, Arizona, and they are opening a special exhibit on June 4th called Broken Promises, looking at the treaties written between the United States government and the Native nations of Turtle Island. And they have asked me to come <clears throat> and talk about the doctrine of discovery and especially about treaties um, throughout the history of our nation. And so I'm very excited to be there. This event is open to the public. I believe the, the museum charges an admission to go in, but anyone who goes into the museum will be able to join this event. I don't have the exact time I'm speaking at. Um, I believe the event is going on from like 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., but I haven't been given the schedule yet of when I will be speaking in that. And I will share a website in the in the, um, the video notes for this, and uh, you can check their event page on their website. And as they add more details, I'll also let people know on social media and here on Patreon as well. So there it is. That's what's going on. Um, I'm a lot of exciting things happening. Uh, in the month of May, both here on Patreon as well as in my public speaking schedule. Once again, I thank each of you deeply for your partnership in this work. Um, I'm very excited about what's going on and what we're doing to move this conversation forward. And I am deeply grateful uh, for everyone here who not only supports this work financially, but also ask questions and engages the dialogue and helps partner in bringing some of these events uh, about just to help make them happen. So I yeah, my relatives, thank you so much. Walk in beauty and maybe learn how to walk in beauty together. How go on that?